Welcome back, everybody. Now, MasterChef United Tastes of America has entered its 13th season right here on KH12. And today we are celebrating National Donut Day with Madame Donuts, who is also a contestant on this season's MasterChef, Madame Donut. The hair <laughs> is back. How are you doing, sis? Good to hear from you. Great. <laughs> okay, so you guys, it's been a couple of years since we we've talked, and a lot has been happening, you know, in in your life, professionally and personally. But I want to talk about the show. What was your motivation for joining Master Chef? Um, the biggest motivation really is about home cooking. Um, so it happened during the pandemic when I started teaching people how to cook with what we have. You know, just right. like a, a little back story on that. I, st uh, I started uh, cooking classes um, to teach people to use local grown ingredients on Maui. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, MasterChef's all about home cooking. And I thought it kind of ties in with what I want to put out there. And so I thought, well, why don't I show what I, you know, what we can do on MasterChef. And, um, represent Hawaii and what we can cook from here. So yeah, that was definitely one of the motivations and show off what Hawaii is all about. You know, I love it, and I'm super proud of you. And you know, we're actually going to see you um, next week on MasterChef because we're still continuing the audition episodes. Now, can you give us an exclusive on what you did for your audition? Because I know you brought Hawaii to LA. <laughs> Yes, um, and it's actually really fun because I got to see family who live in California now. Okay. And just at least tradition for Hawaii, I said, okay, come uh, join me in the auditions. I want you to be there to support me. And I thought what was really sweet is that because now I'm from Hawaii, um, they brought lei for me. <laughs> so they said that they were gonna bring a lay for me that if I got an apron, they're gonna put it on me. So that's kind of one thing that I wanted to show off to the rest of the world, really, that like how we are such a beautiful people. You know right. what I mean? When we support people, we give them flowers, we give them like such um, just, just amazing loves through Aloha. And I really wanted to show that off just with the flowers and the lay and the family being there to to cheer you on. Good for you. And I love how you're bringing your family along with you for the ride. I mean, it's, that, I mean, that, that's what we're all about here in Hawaii is Ohana. Absolutely. And we get to see that on the show. So that's exciting. Absolutely. And I really hope that I put out like competing with Aloha. You know, yeah. I went there, like, I really talked about how much we love our land and how we support each other. And I hope that's what people see when they when they see the show. I love it. Well, you know, let's piggyback on what people will see. Can you give us a rundown of this season's MasterChef? What can our viewers look forward to in terms of the challenges? Because <laughs> Fox told me yeah. what, they, what they put you through and it was crazy. Well, first of all, we don't even know if I got an apron yet, right? So. We don't know yet. <laughs> I can't quite talk about um, the outcome of that yet. Mm -hmm. However, what was really cool about the season is that the theme is about United Tastes right. of America. And I thought that was a really great theme because it meant it was going to be inclusive. Um, you know, the states, is, we are a, a melting pot. And I think Hawaii in particular, we are a melting pot of food and cultures. Mm -hmm. So I thought that because of the theme, I felt so at home you know, in the Master yeah. Chef kitchen. I just felt like this is exactly what I want to put out there is that we can put together different ideas with food and culture right. and enjoy, you know, that's that's what we're about. Yeah. Well, let's talk about enjoying because today is National Donut Day. And of course, we got to bring in you. Um, let's talk that's about right. how you are celebrating National Donut Day at Donut Dynamite. That's right. Well, First of all, I think National Donut Day is much more important than my own birthday. <laughs> so this is something I celebrate every year. Yeah. Um, normally, you might know this, that I only make donuts on Saturdays at the moment. But on National Donut Day, I break that rule and mm -hmm. we serve donuts on Fridays. So I definitely <laughs> had an extra sleepless night just to make sure that I have some donuts for, for friends. In fact, to be honest with you, I'm already sold out. Wow. Because Maui loves their donuts. Yeah. So 
I am literally saving this just for you guys. Oh, I <laughs> love you. They're like, I want this done. I was like, you can come back after this interview and maybe I'll sell them to you. But yeah, I, I was pretty busy this morning. Well, you know what? We're, we're super proud of you. Keep staying busy. Um, you guys, Thank it's you. Donut Dynamite on Maui. You guys can follow her online at The Madam Donut. And make sure you guys check out MasterChef, United Taste of America. Um, it already it started airing, but she's going to be on next week, June 7th, right here on Fox. And make sure you guys, like I said, follow her online at The Madam Donut on social media. Good to hear from you. I'm super proud of you, and we can't wait to talk with you after the show. So maybe we can do a little, another recap. Thank you so much, Mikey. I really appreciate you taking the time. Thank you so much, Madame Donna.